Garrick season's upon us, and as you know, if you go down to Port St. John's or any one of those places, one of the Garrick's favorite food, besides a sardine and a mullet, is a mackerel. I'm gonna show you how to make a mackerel throw bait. What we're gonna require, cone sinker, 25 kilo nylon, we're going to be using our power swivel again, number three, and that's basically the size that we're looking for. We need two of them. There's the other one attached already. And our beaked hook, 5060, depending on the size of the mackerel you're going to throw. And these are for frozen baits and a little bead. Very simply, we're going to attach some nylon to a cone sinker or a grapnel sinker. We're going to have a little power saw that I've already attached to this one make the trace. <clears throat> what we do is we snell the hook. So we're going to take our beaked hook. Very easy to snell. I'm just going to use my fingers again very quick and easy. One, two, three, four times, five if you want, doesn't really make a difference. Go through the nylon and what we do is we just pull the figure around the actual shank of the hook as you can see there. A little bit of tension on it, and this is it. Put tension, pull tight, and there is the hook. Cut off the tag end, and we're gonna make it about a meter in length. I'm just gonna cut over there. I'm gonna measure quickly, make sure it's a meter in length. Okay, there's my meter mark. Attach a little power swivel to it. And again, all we're gonna do is make a figure of eight. One, two, three times. Slide down, pull tight. Cut off the tag end. Okay. What we're now gonna do, I'm just gonna move all of this stuff away here, is take our leader line sinker, slide in, a little bead, which basically just protects the knot. That's the only reason the bead is really there. And again, attach everything with a figure of eight. One, two, three times. And what I like to do when I'm fishing for Garrick using a mackerel, especially a frozen one, and there's the length of it, basically as you can see there. What I like to do is take a bit of foam, stick it down the throat before the mackerel's frozen. It gives it a lot more buoyancy. I'm just gonna grab one quickly. There's my mackerel. The foam I've already stuck down the throat before I froze it. And that's basically what he looks like, our lovely slimy mackerel. So yesterday when I got it, I took some high density foam, about that long, stuck it down its throat, closed its mouth with a little hook, and just froze it. Now what we do when we get to the beach early in the morning is very simple. Take that hook, and this is why we use this um, beaked hook is because of that eye that's sent, um, bent backwards. You take it, that little fin over there, if you can see it, and that jaw bone is where you actually want to go through because that's a very, very hard plate over there. So what we do is we go underneath there, push it in as deeply as we can, pull it out over there, and what we do is we actually slide it and this is sometimes very difficult to do. Ah, there we go, okay. Let me just keep it there. So what happens is that little, um, I'm not gonna say that, ah, oh, that hook is now embedded. And if I pull, you can see it actually creates a lot of resistance on the actual mackerel. Now, we can't throw it like that. So what we do is we just take our hands and watch very carefully what we do with it is we take it, twist it, to form basically a loop. 
It's all we do, we're just forming a loop around the tail and we just pull it until we feel a little bit of resistance on it, like that. Do it again. And we start pulling tight. And we do it again. Three to four times is what I recommend, but nine times out of 10, four is more than enough. Actually, three is more than enough. And we pull tight. So that's basically what it is. The nylon is not too tight. There's quite a bit of play there still. And we take our little scissors and we just snip. Snip. There is our hole trace. There we go. There is our bait that we can throw. We don't want to clip it. You can, but you don't want to really do it. This is basically a knot, if you can call it a slip knot. It pulls tight around the backbone or the mid bone of the actual mackerel. When you throw it, this is going to go floating up and move around with the surge in the water. Derek's going to come, inhale it, and that hook's going to go tight. When you get the bite, again, let him eat or click over your bail arm if you want to. Let him go. Close the bail arm, and when he goes down the second time, hit. And what happens is, and I'm just going to show you here, I'm going to pull quite tight. I might just go from there. And see how much pressure you can actually put on that. Doesn't come off. It will eventually, I mean, you've got to put a hell of a lot of pressure on it. That knot, when it does break, and I'm going to break it now. I'm just going to use that because I'm scared I'm going to get myself caught up. Okay actually pulls and breaks off the actual backbone. Let's pull it even more. You can see how hard you have to pull to break that backbone there. No damage on the nylon as such. That hook will pull into the actual garrick and the garrick can swim off and do what it wants. This will eventually tear out over there. Eventually tears out and your garrick is swimming. It's as simple as that guys. Very easy bait to throw. Very nice. Don't forget to put the foam inside its mouth. And I'll try and show you. Nah, it's still too frozen. You stick the, the actual foam in there, and you can't see down it unfortunately, but the foam is right down in its stomach almost. Um, preferably a white foam. And that's basically what you, you do with a throw bait mackerel. Very quick, very easy.